Hello everyone, welcome back to Piston Cup Productions. Um, yeah, of course you're gonna notice this is a voiceover. Reason is, at this store that I'm not gonna name because, first of all, I'm not sponsored by them. Second of all, I don't want to reveal the location of the store because if I do, I'll pretty much reveal where I live. And it's just like a little local shop downtown where I live. So if I give away the exact name of the shop, people can look it up and find where I live. And I'm not ready to show or tell where I live. I that's just I don't feel comfortable with that yet. I hope you guys understand. But anyways, the um, reason I'm having to do a voiceover in this video is because there was copyrighted music blasting in the store. And I'm talking full out speakers and I just there wasn't a single moment where I just could have caught my breath or catch my voice to say something without music playing in the background. So um um yeah this store is a store i've gone to well counting this time only like about three or four times i don't come here often but um this is the first time i'm actually coming to the store to film and boy oh boy what an experience it was the amount of things i found there that are were that were cars related my bad it, it was insane there was anything from school supplies to party supplies to home decor and kitchen plates and there was even little toys and stuff i mean it was it was crazy there wasn't any die cast but the amount of cars merchandise that i saw at the store was absolutely insane i mean it just comes to show you how big of a franchise this cars movie is or what big of a franchise this, these movies have because look at the amount of stuff they have i mean there are things that i found today at the store that holy crap i would have never have imagined even existing like there was a, a shit ton of designs on bags and i mean it is just crazy i mean look at that little bucket right there of halloween I, I didn't even know that thing existed the amount of things that they had were so amazing and had so many different designs and the prices were way i mean super affordable and i'm talking like things were so cheap there and i'm like Oh, hang on none of this stuff you find in stores nowadays i mean there there's cars two stuff there and cars very little cars three stuff surprisingly it was more cars one and cars two stuff more than any other movie that was there from the three cars films and they even had plain stuff there was surprising to me i mean i was like wow they have everything they had not just cars and planes but they had literally disney and I mean, there was just so many franchises. I'm talking like Pokemon, Nintendo, Thomas the Tank Engine, um, Monster High, Descendants, Phineas and Ferb, Toy Story. I mean, there was just so many things at this store. It was absolutely insane. And honestly, the store was so freaking huge. It was... I didn't imagine it to be this big. Last time I came here, I never knew it was this big. Now that I'm coming here to film, I mean, I was alone and it was early in the morning. The store was super empty. There was no one, which was good. I was able to get some good shots with no one there because, you know, I had every aisle to myself. There was at least five to six aisles I counted of just car stuff alone. Can you imagine all the other aisles that there were that I saw? There was a whole aisle for just the Disney Princess stuff, another for the Toy Story stuff. But honestly, it seemed like the Disney Princess stuff and the car stuff had the biggest aisles overall. I mean, every little corner of the shop, you'd see different franchises and different things of cars just hidden. And you just have to look around on the shelves and you'd find literally almost anything cars just hiding around there. Perry the Platypus. Anyways, I mean, there was these little sticker booklets and I was like, wow, hang on. I've never seen these before. Are they uh, real? And I mean, from my um, perspective, this stuff looks real. But I got to tell you, there was some things that I noticed that were straight up knockoffs. You could just tell right away, especially when we get to the toy aisle, which is later on. That's where the toys for cars started kicking as knockoffs. But for the amount of merchandise that they had for party supplies, backpacks and all that stuff, it all seemed quite legit, to be honest. And the amount of classical things they had there that I'm talking, for example, the Toy Story stuff. There was stuff from Toy Story 2 sitting there. I think that packaging was from Toy Story 2, Toy Story and beyond once that was a thing. But yeah, it was just freaking crazy the amount of stuff they had there i mean the cars aisle for the supplies was absolutely insane they had journals they had notebooks and spiral notebooks and puzzles and goodness me just the amount of the stuff they had was crazy erasers pencils mechanical pencils giant erasers i mean the list goes on and on markers and on all sorts of different packagings 2013 packaging supercharged packaging desert bag packaging i mean you name it 
all sorts of packagings were shown there. I mean, I saw artworks that I had never seen in my life on these packages. And I was like, wow, I never saw this once in stores. But I have come to the conclusion that some of this stuff, of course, was mostly available more than likely at Party City. Of course, there's still a thing, but I have a feeling they send everything from over there that doesn't sell to this store along with possibly Target stuff because I did see some stuff here that were at one point from Target and even a few from Walmart. It was mostly um, plates and a few other things that I saw um, that are later in this video like tissue boxes. Tissue boxes of cars and little tissue packets like pocket-sized tissue um, little packages. I would see those all the time at dollar stores. So this is pretty much... How do I say this? A dollar store, but a, pre a premium dollar store. That's the best way of putting it because they have, goodness me, everything. Their toy section was probably the most disappointing though because there was really not many good things for cars. It was mostly just like tops and like little knockoff cars of Mater and McQueen. But there was a some official car stuff there that I saw that were from cars too there was like these talking plushies that were pretty official um but yeah it's just a crazy story i mean look at that those magnets i would have never imagined seeing those those jumbo pencils are amazing look at those notebooks 3d pop out artwork i mean that looks fantastic doesn't it and then the packagings it just screams nostalgia doesn't it i mean look at that pencil case i, I believe that was a pencil case yeah but oh, goodness me i just wish i was able to talk in store i would have been able to if there wasn't copyrighted music playing but of course, I wasn't able to because there was copyrighted music going, which reminds me, sheesh, even if I did start talking in the store, I would have probably gotten fried into the point where I would have left the store. The store was so sketchy. Um, I, I don't think I planned to go back. I didn't pick anything up. I was really tempted to pick up some stuff. But um, considering how sketchy the store seemed, I entered there and I say, hey, hello to like the people working there. I'm like just a friendly hello. How are you? Merry, Merry late Christmas or... Happy New Year's when I'm leaving, like, you know, because we're around the corner for New Year's. Well, at the time that I'm recording this, it's going to come out until, I think, January 2nd. So, th yeah, this is pre-recorded, just letting you guys know. Um, no response. Um, recording this a few days before New Year's. I believe the 28th it is today. But, yeah, no proper response from any employees. I would say, hi, how are you? Or, no, nothing. And I'd catch them a few times just awkwardly staring at me. I mean, that's expected. I mean, I get those stares all the time at Walmart and Target. But the stares I'd get here were, let's just say, not welcoming. And to the point where I'm just like, oh, um, I, I think they're going to kick me out. I think I, I don't think they want me recording here. I think this is a private property. I don't think I'm supposed to be filming here. You buy what you need and you get out. So, I mean, and I can understand why. I mean, this was downtown. And in the past, I would try recording in downtown here where i live but i was small and I, I would try taking like just little pictures or i'd see other people wanting to record also in stores and they'd say hey you can't film here and if you do want to film we're gonna have to kick you out and th there are the tissue packets i was talking about earlier look at the blankets look at the little coin piggy bank stuff or whatever they're called little coin bins or whatever look at all the plates and the cuffs i mean look at those curtains no doubt i've seen those at walmart before but look at the amount of tupperware and stuff they have the little night lights it's amazing anyways as i was saying um luckily no one told me hey you can't record get out so i was able to get all the footage i needed and in detail because the store was empty no one was in the halls where i was and then i found that really weird sticky stuff on that cup or those cups i mean that's just weird gooey i don't know what the hell that was um but yeah nonetheless that store shh, craziest store i've ever been to with the amount of merchandise that they have in there boy oh boy i mean i can go on with more franchises i saw there I, of course uh, i think i mentioned pokemon no i don't believe so pokemon teenage mutant ninja turtles hello kitty what else was there i mean there was just so many things sheesh it's hard to top them off off the top of my head name them all um frozen was there as well uh what other franchises did i see i'm trying to think here i think lol was there as well um, I only saw one Descendants thing, which was a backpack. And I'm trying to think of any other franchises. Of course, we saw planes, which caught me by surprise personally. I was like, wow, plane stuff. Hey, I well, never expected to see that stuff before. But just look at the aisles there. Those aisles were absolutely massive. The amount of stuff you could just find there. I mean, they had those baby cups or little sippy, whatever. I forgot what those are called. Um, I used to have those. 
Um, there was Disney baby stuff as well, which was quite surprising. I'd never seen baby stuff for cars like that right there, specifically that cup. But um, yeah, heck, they went to the extent of showing body wash there on display. I was like, wow, that is amazing. I think I had that SpongeBob one when I was smaller, but just look at the aisles. Look at that. I mean, and then look, this is one of the best parts. Look at that classic Thomas the Tank Engine toys. When do you see these in the store? And I was like, <laughs> that is amazing. Take and play. And my first Thomas, when do you see that anymore, huh? And this was the car section for the toys. And like I'm telling you guys, there wasn't much. This was pretty much the toy section for cars. Not a single die cast. It was mostly just little, like that little, just random plasticky weird stuff i mean they were all official things it just came down to like two products that were knockoffs which it'll appear on the screen right now where is it uh no that stuff is official official yeah all of that stuff is official i think in just a bit i'll show it yeah right there up there in the corner up there in the corner that mcqueen and mater were obviously knockoff but these boys right here these were in a separate aisle with just an entire like three aisles of just plush toys and holy crap these Maters and McQueens were absolutely fantastic. Dang, Can you do me a favor and scratch my bumper? Hey, is my teeth straight? <laughs> fantastic toys. Uh, I got quite the laugh with that Mater plushie. But you heard the music in the background? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I'm hoping I don't get copyrighted just from that one little clip of music. But um, yeah, pretty much this was going to be in the last hunt video that i posted but pretty much i just posted it as a separate video because this store was a lot i mean it was fantastic but yeah that's gonna be pretty much it for this video tell me all what you think of this store um let me know what your favorite aisle was oh and i also forgot to tell you guys i got these custom cookies made for new year's and oh my goodness everyone at the party because we had a new year's party everyone loved them they were freaking delicious i got them made by oreo because you know they're oreo cookies but with my custom flavor they were white vanilla dipped or in fudge or white fudge dipped and then with red and yellow sprinkles with the piston cup productions um profile pick on the top of the cookie and goodness me they were delicious but anyways thank you all so much for watching happy new year from everyone here at piston cup productions wishing you all a happy and safe 2021 see you guys next time